Hey, hello, hello, hello. Hey, everyone, everybody, everybody out there, and uh, YouTube world, YouTube land. I like to say hello. Thank you to each and every last one of you for tuning into the Don Trail, Don Trail channel. That is D O N T R E L. D-O-N-T-R-E-L. Ladies and gentlemen, please do not forget, that is one L. You hear me? One L. Uh, 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 okay. Look at that. Wait. Hmm. You see that? I'm not playing with this. I'm not playing with this. And I ain't never have been. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Don Trail, Don Trail Station. This is where you get all of your information for the LGBTQ community. All the latest news, all the latest dirt, all the latest gossip in the LGBTQ community. So, we about to get right into it. And we ain't going to even waste no more times and games about it, okay? Let's get this thing started. Come on, man. So, um, first of all, i like to say, uh, first of all, I'd like to say thank you guys for at least uh, taking out the time. <sighs> I'm kind of nervous. Kind of not. Kind of nervous a little bit. I'm kind of trying to get used to trying to come up with a system, trying to come up with a uh, routine to keep you guys um, happy and uh, satisfied with uh, the things that I'm trying to do and the direction that I'm trying to go in. I really am. So shout out to everybody out there. So um, I love you guys so much. I really do. Uh, please just do not forget to hit the subscribe button, okay? Um, let's see. Um, and please give me a like. I'm definitely needing that. I'm des definitely desperate for that. I'm desperate for a lot right now, to be honest with you. <laughs> and I do mean that. <laughs> and I do mean that. I'm definitely desperate for a lot. Okay. And so, um, uh, let's see. Uh, we are, what, what are we going to talk about today? Today we have some, wait a minute. First of all, th you guys, it has been how long now? I believe it's been a good week or two. So, um, you already know, like, I'm trying to do things that's totally opposite from what everybody else is doing. I don't want to talk about, you know, all the other stuff. I don't even want to talk about what you're wearing. I don't want to talk about your name brands. I want to talk about, you know, the stuff that you're not wearing. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That brings us to another thing. So we're gonna talk about what I have on for today. You know, you know what? I really don't have on much, like in all of my shows. That's you know, that's just my thing. And uh, don't nobody out there try to take it. So uh, <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> no. Um. So I just thought that this was like unique. I just got on a belt. You feel me? Just got on like some um like some briefs this is really it you feel me all my folks all, all, all my pimps out there know what's going on you feel me i got the hands on you feel me? the hands from dollar general or the dollar tree or something like that so um i just started to be cool and so yes i got the legs on swole you feel me 
And bam, bam, bam. Ooh, did y'all see y'all see that little crease right there? Oh, let's see if we can do that again. Ooh, you, look, I ain't even know I could do that. But uh, <laughs> but um, let's see. So today we are going to be talking about um, like I said, we're gonna be talking about the letter L. Letter L is lesbian, so that's what we're gonna be talking about. Like it has been a lot of lesbian news going on in the lgbtq community thank you guys so much <laughs> thank you guys so much because if it weren't for y'all i wouldn't be having anything to talk about so um and definitely um you know what um you know we're not gonna waste no more time we're gonna go ahead and get right into it we're gonna let's see uh let me see i got my line up ready um we're gonna talk about uh, uh you know what alicia keys alicia keys has a son or whatever and uh something to do with her son wanted to put on fingernail polish and um i believe he wanted to put on like the rainbow um uh, colors of for the fingernail polish or whatever um first of all i want to say hopefully you guys have been doing okay um i'm just trying to say so much and i want to cram so much in the in 10 minutes or 15 minutes and i uh, hope you guys have had an excellent good work week i have it's been cool but um it's just so much more that i feel like i want to do and it's so much more that i feel like things that i can do but um we're gonna go ahead and get right into this so hopefully you guys have been doing good keep it up you guys uh stay positive um the no tip for tat just don't even you feel me so uh just just keep a smile on your face or at least try to at all times so let's get into this thing uh about alicia keys and her son or whatever now i'm watching this guys just like you uh they said something about it on the radio but let's get right into it today i went to the nail salon with genesis he's in the chair he's like i want the rainbow so he tells the lady that he wants rainbow colors on his on his nails and she brings all of these colors and she paints each nail different colors and after he painted his nails he looked at me and said mommy i don't want this on my hands hmm. and i was like why you were so sure you're good and he was like people are not gonna like you mm -hmm. can you believe this four yeah. years old he's four and he already understands the concept that someone's gonna judge him because he chose rainbow color on his nails I told him, why? Nobody's going to judge it. They're going to love it. It's so cool. Like, look how creative you are. Look how amazing you have this right. idea. Stick with it. You chose it. Amazing. You liked it. You That's did. good. Who cares what anybody else said? I like so, her I feedback said, you know, from it. A lot of guys paint their nails. This is not like some strange thing that you a only A lot of guys do paint their nails. Like, yeah. They really so do. So many. So many. All right. And that made him feel better. But it just got me to think. I'm going to save this. More on this All later. Time. The way I see it is that there is masculine and there's feminine energies inside of us all. Right. That's period. That's I didn't know she is. said that. And it gets concerning to me that we can't just explore these different sides of ourselves, you know, these different energies that are within us. And even for me myself, you know, I oftentimes express the masculine energy that's inside of me. And she does. it's very natural to me. That's how I feel. Ooh. And everybody and thought she was a lesbian time, too when she first came out. Because I definitely and thought so. And all these judgments. And there's no shade. Rules. No shade. 100% lies. You lies. hear me? And it's, it's really frustrating to me. I'm actually really, really frustrated about it. And I, I ask myself, why is that? Like, why can't we just express? the different energies that are inside us. You know, this is a very normal, ancient, powerful, spiritual understanding that we all have masculine and feminine energies and we should be able to explore and express them however we want to. What do you think? Right. That's my rant. Major rant. Major rant. Okay, that was actually my first time seeing that they was talking about that on uh the radio station, and uh you know what you know I'm not gonna say nobody agreed with her, but a lot of people. Uh, well, this one caller had called the radio station. She was like, "Why would you put sex on a four year old?" And it's just something that we I'm not gonna say we do that, but it's like we kind of like want to be a psychic for everybody. I see somebody with cakes. I see somebody with cakes. Okay, um, 
So, um, yeah, we just want to be a psychic for everybody. Oh, well, yeah, duh. And it's like my opinion. I feel like if that's what he gravitated towards, that's what he gravitated towards. Because at the end of the day, he's four, if he's four years old now, and if he really like what he's doing, if he really like the creative side about that, by the time he's about 18, 19, 21 years old, he'll probably have his own nail shop and another own nail shop. He probably won't even be painting on nails and he probably won't even be putting on nails on. He'll probably have about like 10, 20 employees working for him. Y'all won't even see them little Asians and them Chinese folks in the nail shop anymore. You gonna see his man because I just feel like our, we play so much on stereotypical dumb ding dong BS that just, just, just don't make any sense. And it is just ancient news, especially for African Americans. It's complete, utter trash. It really is. And I hate it. I really do. I, I try my, you know what? We, okay, so that was that. Tell me what you guys think about that. <laughs> Tell me what you guys think about that. Uh, please feel free to subscribe. I would like for you to subscribe. So the next thing we were going to talk about, like I said, we have so much to, okay, we about to go on to our next, um, uh, what you call it, our, our next segment. And it is, uh, I don't know what I'm going to call it. I want to say who done came out, who you think done came who you thought done came out, who you think, who, who, you understand what I'm saying? Like, and especially in the entertainment news, um, I believe the last episodes we talked about, we talked about the rapper 6 9 only because of the fact that he has rainbow colors in his hair. Shoot, if he can get away with it, why can't he get away with it? You know, I, I, you know that I don't get. Um, we also talked about the guy from MTV, the real world, when he slapped the dog mess out of Irene because Irene outed him on national television. Oh, well, yeah, man, you will never can never date because you're a homosexual, Steven. Oh, hey, bitch, you want to call me the fuck out? I'm about to slap the fuck out your motherfucking ass, bitch. He shouldn't have hit her, but at the same time, she shouldn't have, she didn't have to out that man, and then she ain't had no proof, no evidence, so she, she deserved, I'm not going to say she deserved that slap. <laughs> I'm not going to say she deserved that, but she deserved some type of pain or hurt back. So, um, like I said, so we talked about 6 9 we talked about Steven, so we about to talk about now, we are going to talk about Cisco. Oh, Jesus. Cisco. Because uh, we about to talk about Cisco and all that other stuff, you know, because I definitely thought that he you know. could have been or probably was. Or because I, I used to have a crush on him. I really did. I used to have a crush on him. I thought he was cute. I thought he was attractive. I thought he was just it, especially his hair stood out of whatever. But wait, please take note. I had a crush on Maya first. I had a crush on Maya first. And then it was Cisco. So um, we're going to get into this because I definitely thought he, he was a homosexual or whatever. Take a dick. I actually thought him and DMX fucked. I really did. I thought he, him and DX fucked. I still slick do think they fucked. Because after they made that song together, what you really want, mama? <laughs> you feel me? When folks get in the studio, you in the studio. It's just like they in the room with you. They in your house. They in your room. It's just y'all together. Ain't nobody else around. You ain't got to worry about those. Look at it, y'all. You ain't got to worry about I thought they fucked. And I still do slick think that. But we going to go ahead and get into, uh, you know, what Cisco thought about the rumors about him. The song, song blew up like crazy. You know, in the song, you're wearing the, the, bikini, <sighs> the bikini shorts. Okay. And uh -oh. the, gay, the, the gay rumors started going crazy on Whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, wait, 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 in the song, I wore bikini shorts. I wore a mankini in, uh, on um, Celebrity Big Brother. It was a, it was a challenge to... He didn't to, look bad at him, uh, by the way. <laughs> no, he didn't. So I, 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 uh, I took, it was a high risk, high, high reward. That's true. The girl, um, the lady said I got the greatest ass on the planet, and she thought I had something stuffed in the front of of, of the mankini. And I won and walked out the house with a crown. Okay. So that was the highest rated show in Europe, and I left London okay. with a crown. Hunk of the house. Highest rated show. And he's in an entertainer. Our big so, Brother, Celebrity okay. Big Brother history. Drew Hill has had the gay rumors associated with him. You talked about this on This Is Fit. said I was going to um, say this. Yeah, well, the, I made a the gay rumors is, I'm wrong. is once again unwarranted when I guess it was because my head's gone. 
Well, that's right. Everybody dyeing their hair blonde right now. Everybody's rocking that's back true. right now. Everybody's doing everything I did back in the day. That's Are true. they gay too? That's true. All right. I guess the I guess the silence has it. That's true. <laughs> nobody asked nobody else what they gay, but I'm gay. I, I'm just a trailblazer, dude. I'm a, I'm at the top of the list. I I take risk because uh because I'm not insecure about myself mm-hmm. or my manhood, mm-hmm. so I can do. Whatever, whatever I feel like I, you know, want to do. And he's somebody I probably chill with. You feel me? Like, kinda, chill with him, like, I mean, obviously he's straight, I so I would do. just probably have to chill with um, him on, like, some first, cool homeboy so type that, stuff. You know, there are, like, now, plenty of folks out there I chill with. with. Like, do you know what? Gay. Plus, technically, you don't even really make it until somebody calls you gay, so it's all good. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, Chris Rowe, he died a terrible Shout out Tyler Perry, please yeah. hit me up. Shout out Tyler Perry, yeah, please hit me cool. up. Subscribe I, 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 to my um, YouTube page, yeah, my YouTube it's, channel. It's, it's, that is Don Trill, Don Trill, D O N T R E L, D O N T R E L. Please. My music or whatever. Then, like a couple months later, he had dyed his hair. So it's not, you know, it's not, it's not, I'm not the end all be all on dyeing your hair blonde. I'm just like kind of the first to do it. Urban artist that had done it and, you know, and so once again like nobody everybody everybody's tried it since then and nobody's afraid to do it and that's what um that's what music and being an artist is all about man just you know not being afraid or ashamed to, to um you know to express yourself mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, so obviously he's not. I definitely thought he was. He's still cute. He's still attractive. I don't even say that about him because he's heterosexual, obviously, and so. My personality, I feel like when it comes to heterosexuals, I try my best to at least say or at least think uh, qualities about them that I could have in me. Like if somebody's a hard worker, I'd be like, dang, I wish I was a hard worker like that. Or if somebody's like, like tone up or something like that, I look at them and I want to be like that. I want to have that physique or I want to have that posture or whatever. So it's not really like all have to do with sex, like sexuality or anything like that or i'd probably be like dang i wish i could you know talk like them or walk like them like and so many times i wish i felt like i wanted to be like you know somebody else because another individual trashed my own personal character so i try to see somebody else and be like okay let me try to walk like them or something and then it eventually i eventually come back into my own self but you know, it doesn't always have, it is not always sexual just because somebody homosexual is hanging out with like a heterosexual sometimes, like half the time, like it almost like influences me to do the things that they do. So it's really not all bad, to be honest with you. So we got to talk about that. So the next thing that we are going to talk about, ladies and gentlemen, please hit the subscribe button. Tyler Perry, please hit me up. Tyler Perry, please hit me up. I do live here in Georgia, Tyler Perry, so there are no excuses. Tyler Perry, please hit me up, and I am mobile for right now, Tyler Perry, <laughs> for right now. So, uh, uh, okay, so we're going to go into the next thing. So, like I said, so every sad man, we're going to talk about, you know, what I used to think, who I used to think was homosexual, who I think should have been came out, who I think about to come out. Like I said, we're going to talk about something else. So, we are going to get into, um, we're going to go ahead and get into... Uh, uh, Cynthia Bailey, something about to something about her daughter, you know. I would love to but, bring up the conversation that you had with your daughter. Yes, uh, you know, when she was talking about her sexual fluidity. Yes, I love seeing that conversation and how you totally embraced her. How surprised were you when she said that? And kind of what were your thoughts? Uh, when she initially brought it to me, I was very surprised. Yes. You know, okay. she left to go to college. You guys got a chance to see that. Yes. And like I said, I'm I, mean, I knew she was going to learn a lot. Kinda. I just didn't know if she was going to learn that she was fluent. <laughs> I told her to be open to new experiences, and she was. <laughs> no, but like in all seriousness, um, what I wanted for Noelle was to be able to tell her own story. And right. being a part of the show, you know, she's not a housewife. She, you know, we don't, she doesn't really, she doesn't really have a big role on the show, but you guys have gotten a chance to follow her life. Yeah. And she's recognizable. So with that said, you know, she's out here doing her thing, and I'm like, look, you know, these people have these camera phones and stuff. Yeah. Somebody's gonna catch you out there, and I don't, I didn't want it to be like, you know, she had this secret life, and we didn't talk about it on the show. 
Right. Because that mm-hmm. happens, because then it turns into like, oh, Noelle is like, you know, hiding something. Yeah, from her she's hiding it. So she got a chance to tell her own story. And honestly, she was super, super nervous about Sunday night watching it. But when I tell you, Marlo looks she nice. was so her embraced makeup by is crazy. our Absolutely. community. <laughs> and all love. The yes, best yeah. thing we ever did was to actually, you know, let her tell her own but story. But she owned it. She owned she it. Completely yeah, owned it. Yes. Yes. That's awesome. I remember and most me. people that, right. that experience things like that don't have to do it in right. front of cameras. Right. So, okay. And you know, as a parent, right. okay, so, um, you always think you're going to know, like, you want to Let's see. Well, yes. Okay, what is my reaction to that? And what I want to say about that? Is also, you know, I heard, you know, with her going to college, oh, you know, that's, you know, it's a phase. A lot of girl, college girls, do, you know, go through yeah. that and whatever. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I met some of those little girlfriends, honey. And I'm like, I, I think this is a real thing. I don't know if this is going to be a phase, but the bottom line is we just want her to be happy. I, she can be with a girl, guy, whatever, as long as she's happy. And she's, yeah. I, did, I like that. I did that. I wish more people out there, especially parents anyway. I feel like, mm, I'm not going to say the newer generation of parents because a lot of them, some still don't. And it's completely fine. I, you know, all that, whatever. But I, I don't know. I guess that's my reaction to that. So, um, we are going to go ahead and get into. We're going to go ahead and get into this uh, Todrick Hall and Sierra performance. Now, this is my reaction. This is my first time seeing this, and it's good. I mean, like, it's dope. I, I, I applaud Sierra for, you know, you know, and this is a live performance. This live performance was. I don't know when it was. I guess it was uploaded November 10th. So this is Tiger Call Sierra perform nails, hair, and hips, heels remix. And this is my first time seeing him live, so She looks like a Barbie doll. Let's see it. Oh, she almost made me straight just there. She really, she really did. She almost made me straight. Ugh. I almost want to stop looking at her because she's about to work. Okay, I got to turn my head because this is definitely about to work. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Don Trail Don Trail channel. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Don Trail Don Trail channel, okay? Okay. 
I like those fans and all. It was really was nice. So I enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, we give all our uh, videos a grade. This is definitely an A plus 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 plus. Definitely live. Definitely entertaining. It was nice to watch. Shout out to all you guys. Please subscribe button. Please hit the like button. Please feel free to leave a comment. I love you guys so much. Please tune in next time for uh, the next show. Okay. Thank you.